Notice what happens when I unplug this USB thing here. Hmm, look at all these things. I wonder if I can plug them in. Now, that seems like quite a reasonable thing to expect from a MacBook Pro. I mean, these are professional sorts of things. I mean, you've seen the adverts. Buy our MacBook Pro so you can do Pro things. So let, let's plug in something nice and simple, like a hard drive. So I have a simple hard drive. I'm going to plug it directly into the computer right now. Bzzz. Okay, I actually need two hands for this. So just imagine me plugging it in here. Ooh, it's spinning up. That sounds like it's working. It's certainly got power. That's why it's spinning up. Also, I have plugged it in. So it's, it's plugged in. Don't worry. Don't worry about that, everybody. So we have a hard drive here. This is, this is what's going on. Hard drive here from Porsche. Porsche Design Hard Drive plugged directly into the computer. However, look over there. It's not recognizing at all. If I, if I can get the, the focus right. Oh, focus. All underexposed. Anyway, you can see, I mean, you, these look like hard drives, but, and they are, but these are very different hard drives to the one I plugged in. These are all SSDs, not the hard drive I've plugged in. And so, and now I'm all confused. Why isn't the hard drive I've just plugged in working? Let me show you something. So, to understand what's going on here, um, I have a whole bunch of things. I want to plug in all of these things, which I know is it's quite a lot to ask. I think that that is it would be unreasonable for them to put 20 different USB ports on a MacBook Pro. And so, one way or another, we have to use a USB hub, and I'm okay with that as a general concept. However, if here's the problem. So, I because I want I need to plug this the sound card normally, so, so that guy there, because I need to plug that directly into the computer to make sure it works properly, otherwise you get audio dropouts and a, a whole bunch of problems. Um, I mean, yes, this is one specific audio example, but you find that most professionals have something they need to plug directly into the computer. It could be a, a webcam or a video camera, or it could be a, a, like a, a writing tablet thing. It, every situation is different. It's just more reliable to plug it directly into the computer. That's why the, for every situation, there's probably something you need to plug directly into a computer. For example, if you're a DJ, you want to make sure your sound card is going directly into your computer. Otherwise, you might have problems and then the sound cuts out, and that's bad. As I say, each professional situation is different. So that gives me basically one port left. Oh, but, but multiplier, multiplier, that, that's my name, but multiplier. Doesn't the USB specification have allow up to 127 USB devices and you can have five tiers of USB hubs, so shouldn't that be okay? In other words, you should be, able, should be able to plug 127 things in via USB hubs, and then you could have five tiers of USB hubs. So you could have USB hub into USB hub into, and like five tiers deep, theoretically, yes. And I'm sure that's what Apple thought too. However, when you start to actually do that, I mean, I'm nowhere near that, by the way. I'm trying to plug in 20 devices here, remember? I have actually counted all of these, so I'm trying to plug in about 20 things. As soon as you start to do that, stuff just goes wrong because computers don't always work correctly. And that was my point in the video that went viral, uh, say probably about two years or so ago. They've got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views with me ranting and raving, ranting and raving about how the new MacBook Pro should have more ports because USB hubs just don't work properly. I have an example for you now. So what I have configured here is, so the USB hub that's going into the computer is that guy there. And don't worry, I haven't skimped out on USB hubs. This is the most expensive, like, this just sounds sarcastic, but it's actually true. It's the most expensive USB hub you can get. The one that literally gets all the best reviews. If you look at all the review sites, it's the Anchor 13 port, powered USB 3. It's the, literally the most expensive, best USB hub you can get. That is plugged into my computer. And if that was all there was to do, which it wasn't my old studio, then fine. It, it kind of works some of the time, apart from when it breaks, which happens quite a lot. But it generally speaking works fine. However, when you start putting USB hubs into USB hubs, this is where things start to go wrong. So uh, over here, I have this other extremely highly reviewed USB, uh, lighting's all kind of wonky, USB hub, again from Anchor, again, Super expensive, most highly reviewed sort of thing. I think it's a nine port instead of a 13. But it's it's powered, it's USB 3, it's as expensive as you can you can like spend money on these things. You can't like if I wanted to spend 200 like 200 pounds on one, I couldn't. It doesn't exist. So I've got this. So this USB hub is plugged into 
That one over there, remember, this hard drive is currently plugged into the computer. It's got nothing to do with the USB ports. So this hard drive that's currently not being recognized is not even going in through a USB hub. It's just plugged into a different USB port on the computer. Now, notice what happens. Oh, the light's really low down here. One second, I can, I can get some lighting. Battery, uh, out of focus. And we have light, so. Notice what happens now when I unplug this USB thing here. So this USB is the thing that connects the this USB hub, so the further one down the chain, that connects this one to the other USB hub. Again, nothing to do with the hard drive and the port that the hard drive's plugged into. So if I just get the, the focus right, there you go. Notice what happens when I unplug this guy. Unplugged. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Look at that. Sat down in my chair. Now my hard drive's being recognized. Uh, I get the focus right uh, and the exposure and everything. Lassie three terabyte drive and then the time machine partition and the super duper partition. For the, the, the software super duper, not just because it's super duper. So what, why is that happening? I don't understand. Literally, so let's, let's recap, because this is important, and this explains my point perfectly that I kept going on about. Ugh, that went the wrong way, that's what she said. Ugh. This was my whole point in the video, that while yes, technically you can just use USB hubs, and the, the specification of USB hubs allow for lots and lots of USB devices, 127 and up to five tiers deep. Oh, it's worth noting, by the way, all those USB hubs that are plugged in are all, are all powered, and as I say, the most expensive you can get. So whilst yes, you can get USB hubs, and it should all theoretically work. It stuff just doesn't work. And this wasn't even, let's be, let's be honest, this isn't even a complicated setup. I mean, plugging in two tiers deep worth of USB hubs, I mean, I, I do have a, a, a more to plug in, but I, I've actually unplugged those as well just to make this even, even simpler. So even just having two tiers of USB hub and maybe 14, 15 devices, most of which aren't doing anything and are sending super simple messages, even in that situation, stuff just goes completely wrong. And the, here's the crazy part, remember, this has got nothing to do with the USB hub. This is plugged in directly into the computer over there. Ugh, the zoom, arrow, just, there you go. There, you can see. So the hard drive is plugged directly into the computer, and yet when the USB hub, so hard drive, when the hard drive is plugged into the computer and a USB hub is plugged into that USB hub, it didn't work. But then when I unplugged the USB hub from the USB hub, all of a sudden the hard drive got recognized. I mean, there's literally no explaining that. That is just one of the many, many random things that happen when you start to rely on USB for stuff. And it's, Incredibly frustrating because there's literally no predicting it. I mean, what? Why should I don't understand? I don't understand. It's in a different port. I could kind of understand if the hard drive was in the same USB hub as the ones we were playing with. Like maybe let's say, let's say we have 20 devices going through many USB hubs all into the same port. I could then kind of wrap my head around how maybe a hard drive wouldn't be recognized because it's a lot for USB to work with. It should still work, but it's a lot for it to do. But this is something different. This is a hard drive plugged into one USB port, lots of stuff plugged into another one, but all that other stuff plugged into the other one somehow stopped the hard drive being recognized. And as I say, most of this is actually incredibly, incredibly simple stuff. It's, these aren't hard drives. I've got no, I mean, yes, I've got some SSDs running through the first tier of USB hub. Over there, there's the uh, three SSDs, but I mean, all this stuff after that, so remember, so this is the main the main USB hub with the SSDs and main keyboard and stuff. Um, that's the main tier, and then going into that was this secondary USB hub, this guy here, uh, powered, remember? And again, as expensive as you can get, as best reviewed as you can get. Oh, this light's really annoying. Yeah, like that, cool. So, and as I say, it just, um, it's a cloud, the clouds have come over as well. It's made all the lighting weird. We'll ignore the, the uh, maybe we should have, maybe we should have, I'm just gonna hold the lighting. Whoa, look at that. So, and then I'm like a, 
uh, feel, I can't even focus now, that's what she said. Oh, it wasn't, uh, okay, it's on the chair. So this, which has a whole bunch of stuff sending no information at all, so it's just got a bunch of like keyboards and like, a whole bunch of MIDI keyboards and MIDI controllers and stuff. Uh, there, and like keyboards and, and mice, mouses, mouses or mice, whatever you want to call it. So this was with a whole bunch of mouses, keyboards, and MIDI controllers sending like no information at all, was connected to another USB hub, and that connection was stopping my hard drive being registered in a different port. That was the um, the thing I, I disconnected down there. I, just, I mean, I just don't understand. This, it's not, this, this it was my whole point. And I know some people were like, well, USB hubs. I've never had it. People have said, I've, I've had no, people were saying, I've got had no issues with my USB hub. And that's exactly my point as well, that there's no predicting it. If it was, the, if this was a predictable thing that we could just look up, oh, my screensaver to start it, that's a nice, nice, beautiful image. If this was predictable, then we could work around it. We could buy products accordingly and somehow build systems around some inherent limitations. Like maybe there's a certain amount of speed computer bits or whatever that you can put through certain ports or a certain type of tiering or whatever. I don't know. If there was some thing you could look up to somehow work out what you could plug into what, then fine. I, we could work around it. But there isn't. And then you get this nonsense happening where one USB port on another side with a whole bunch of chaos that should work somehow stops this being recognized. And this is why the new MacBook Pro is so stupid. Because, I mean, yes, I know it's faster ports than the new one, but it's still USB. And even if it wasn't USB, it's still the stuff. It's not as good as plugging it directly into the computer. That's obvious. And even the computer science people like Apple know that. If you plug something directly into the motherboardy thing, then it's going to work better than if it goes through a third-party little dongly thing. Duh. Or Apple, make a dongle yourself that works. But you don't. You just say, or well, here's a dongle that costs $80 and goes one to two things. No, I, I want to plug everything in because it's good. I like stuff. Pressing the buttons. Ah, oh, it's very, very frustrating. Now I've no idea what to do. I've just got all, uh, got to figure out what to do. I've just, I've just done it. Ah, oh, as you might have seen, either in the last video or the video after this. Ah, oh, it's just, it's so annoying. Oh, I hate computers. Oh, I hate computers. They make me so mad. Take up a new career. Maybe I'll be a, a tree man. Whatever that is. Bushman. Window man. Yeah. I reckon if you're a, a bushman. You don't run into compatibility issues for no reason at all, I reckon. I reckon it's pretty smooth sailing. I just, I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. And USB's been around forever as well. That's the, also the ridiculousness. Oh, I bumped into the light on the floor. Ah, oh, and I just clearly something's going wrong, right? Because USB, I mean, I, again, I'm nowhere near an expert. It's a bunch of software-y stuff that happens. If there is some sort of issue or overloading or something imperfect, why doesn't it tell me on the computer? Something like, duh, brain, you plugged in too much stuff. Stop doing that. Plug in less stuff or rearrange the ports or something. That message came up. I'd be like, cool, sweet, sweet nurse, yeah. But no, stuff just doesn't work for unpredictable reasons. And that's also got me questioning, no it hasn't, I was just thinking of another 
compatibility issue that you, you either have seen or you haven't seen yet. I haven't decided what order to do these videos. I had a computer issue with this guy up here. Which is now as useful as a plant. Adds in some nice ambience to the room. Nice memories, just like a plant. But it doesn't do anything, just, just sits there. Just like a plant. Except better, actually, than a plant. Oh, actually. Hmm. Hmm. You don't have to water this, but you have to water a plant. But, but. Plants are wireless, so. You need these glow as well, and that's good. Oh, these ones. We can do the screen. They glow in the dark a bit, not much actually. Plants don't do that. Some fish do though, and that bunny rabbit they did the things on. Maybe I'll replace this with a plant or a glow in the dark bunny. and become a bushman. Or tree man, I prefer trees. Yeah, I want to become a tree man. Trees are, trees are reliable. That's, the, that's something you can trust, a tree. You know where you stand with a tree? You don't look at a tree one day and all of a sudden the leaves are missing and then you close one eye and the leaves come back. That's the sort of nonsense you you get with computers, just random nonsense. But trees, trees are great. 